Hi everyone, welcome to about the two millionth video on how to program Baofeng UV5Rs. No, uh, this is a follow-up video I promised to my family emergency communication plan video. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to easily hand program these um, UV5Rs. And the goal is to, for me anyways, is to utilize these within my house uh, with my neighbors and local family here like on the block. It's like a block or two radius um, If we have a hurricane come through and we have damage to property or or people I'm going to use these and hand them out to my neighbors to communicate uh, Effectively if cell phones are down the internet's down that type of thing It's just a handy way to like I said communicate in your very localized area now somebody commented in that video uh, in regards to uh, not being able to use these to broadcast on FRS or GMRS bands. That is patently untrue. It depends on the situation, but uh, Part 97 of the FCC rules of the Amateur Radio Service, Subpart E, Section 97403. So I'm going to paraphrase a little bit. But what that section basically allows is for the use of these on those or other frequencies if there's an immediate concern for the safety of human life or protection of property when normal communications are unavailable. And that would mean you know, cell phones, phones, uh, that type of thing. So uh, don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody bully you. If there's an emergency situation, you are more than uh, in your, within your rights to actually use these on those bands. But real quick, if you like this video or any of my videos, please like them. Please subscribe so you don't want to have a new video coming out. And most importantly, share them with people that you know who may get some benefit out of watching. And if you'd like to share a coffee with me, I'm going to put my Bitcoin QR code somewhere over here and the wallet address below. And as always, any equipment that I show in the video that I own or I recommend, I will put direct links to the products down below in the comments section. So now I'm going to take you to the practical portion of this. I'm going to try to get a close up on these with my little fingers going and show you how to, to program them. So now real quickly, I'm gonna show you how to program this for a simplex channel. And simplex just means uh, back and forth, just like the old walkie talkies back in the day when you were a kid, um, one person pushes to talk, the other person listens, and then when it's the other person's turn to talk, they push their button and it comes back. So that's a simplex channel um, in easy terms. So let's go ahead and first thing you do is turn it on. Okay, so you might have noticed it's in Chinese. Depending on the market that this was uh, meant to ship to, you may get that. So what we have to do is we have to go in and we have to set the voice. So we hit the menu button. And then you use this. You can go directly to it using numbers, but to simplify it, I'm just going to use the up and down arrows. You can go up or down. What you're looking for is the voice. Whoops, blue by it there. Okay, so you got the voice, and you can see it's CHI for Chinese. So hit the menu to get down there. That brings the arrow button down on the left-hand side to the bottom line of text. Then you toggle using the arrow buttons. When you see ENG, hit the menu button again. You'll hear it say confirmed. Then you can hit exit. Now, if you're going to program multiple channels into the radio and use multiple channels in your communications, you want to make sure that you set your TDR to off. Just makes things a lot cleaner and easier for use. Menu. So we go to the menu button. And we want to find the, oop, I passed it again. I always do that. I go too fast. So we found TDR. We hit the menu, menu button again to get the arrow down to the lower level of text. Then we toggle it to off. Hit the menu button again. We get the confirmed. Then we can exit. Now we want to enter the frequency. Okay, so now we're in channel mode. And the way you can tell you're in channel mode is you have your channels shown over here. So we want to go to frequency mode. We need to be in frequency mode to 
program a, a frequency and a channel in. So, so once you hit the VFO MR button, the orange button, it will go, that toggles back and forth between frequency and channel mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. And you can see the channels disappeared. The channel numbers, dis the channel designators disappeared over here. And we want to make sure we are in the top row with our arrow because you have to be in the top row to be able to input a frequency and program it. So we're going to use channel 17 GMRS. So that's 462 600. So we just directly enter it. Then we want to hit the menu button. Menu. And we want to actually save that channel in memory. Memory channel, we want to be there. So we hit the menu button. Memory channel. And we're going to use 17 because it's channel 17 to GMRS. 17, hit the menu button again. You get the receiving memory. And we exit. And then if you're going to use this for emergency situations, you want to put it on high power output. If you're going to use it during other circumstances, then you want to make sure that you follow the applicable power output of the GMRS or FRS channels that you're using. But in this case, like I said, we're going to use it for emergencies only. So we have our frequency programmed. We need to go into the menu, menu. and we go to transmit power. Now it's set to high, but if you wanted to change it, you go down to hit the menu button. You have low mid and high. We want to make sure we're on high, like I said, because we're using this for emergency only, so we want the most power we can get out of it. Confirm. Hit the menu button, it's confirmed. Then we exit and it goes back. Now, an optional feature that you can use on here is the privacy codes. And for emergency use, I wouldn't worry about that. Um, you can look up in the manual uh, how to enter that, um, but uh, if you do use that, you want to make sure that all the radios have the same privacy code. They all have to be the same. So that wasn't hard, was it? What you want to do is follow that same process for every radio that you want to use uh, on that channel uh, to hand out to your friends, family, however you want to use them. They all have to be programmed for the same channel. And uh, have them charged up and ready to go in case there's an emergency or you want to break them out and use them. That's all for this video. Thanks, everybody. And I'll talk to you next time.